previously on Balls. You can get confirmation that because on Skype with us is Nicole. Hello. Hello. How's it going there? Fun and you guys. All right, thanks. Are you underwater? It looks like your picture's a little underwater-ish. Nice length, though. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I thought you might be in, the, in the pool I'm somewhere. Oh, right. Yeah, like I would Skype you guys in a bikini. No, we didn't say you'd be in a bikini. We said you'd be in a pool. <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> What? So nice. her bikini. The awesome. <laughs> no, he's talking about you in a bikini. <laughs> you never get to see that. It looks nice and uh, nice and hot over there. So where are you right now? At the moment, I'm standing in front of our hotel. It's called Apex City of London. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Like the. No, there. Gee, they got big screens. Is that big screens outside for the Olympics or what? No, no. We're going to um, London Bridge. Well, Tower. Of Bridge, whatever it's called. Well, um, there, are, there are two different ones. One is Tower Bridge, one's London are, Bridge. Yeah. It's you know, going to be Tower Bridge because we're very close to the castle. Yeah. Tower of London, whatever. Oh, nice. And um, yeah, so we'll be doing the opening ceremony there. We're not going to the opening ceremony, but um, but yeah, we're going to, to the bridge to watch and the festivities and stuff. So I'll definitely take video for you guys and send that through. Yeah, there'll be and, people uh, all over the streets. I mean, those that aren't going to the stadium, I'm sure London's going to be heaving uh, at all the major sites tonight. Absolutely. And I think also what's nice is, you know, from just from yesterday uh, or two days ago, apparently Rake was saying that there were 200,000 people that arrived in London. I mean, that's almost the amount that arrived for our FIFA World Cup. So mm. in, one, in one day, that's how many people arrived here. And then um, this morning I, I got onto the tubes and it was so so packed you can't move like just from yesterday till today it's unbelievable so they are a bit worried about um about like uh, transport issues and stuff but uh, i think the city will be able to handle it how many people arrived Two hundred thousand. wow but only a hundred thousand yeah. leave remember because the other hundred thousand are south africans who are all going to stay there <laughs> i thought one hundred ninety thousand from bangladesh <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm thinking more south africans who work in it uh, and they, and we will be talking yeah. to them on this radio station for uh, the next year after that <laughs> so welcome yeah. to everyone that's arrived yeah. and uh, i must see the far side yes, uh, he, one he, of our expats on saturday he sent me a tweet he said you're going to go and watch the rugby oh, yes, with sir. them yeah, so I'm going to go watch the rugby in Wimbledon. I've never been, so it'll be nice to see other South Africans around. But you guys can't believe how little English there are in this place. Like, it's just tourists. You're walking past, and if I'm trying to do boxies with people, and it's like, hi, oh, do you speak English? Uh, no, and they walk away. And I'm like, what the hell? It's supposed to be London. It's weird. Hey, see, 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 no, no. <laughs> see, no, yeah. no. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I, think, I, think all the, uh, I think all the palms have got the hell out of town, to be honest. Yeah. Absolutely. I think they've gone to Manchester and other places so they can just get out of London. It's like kind of what people did here sometimes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. But so, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it, but it's really going well. And I think um, people are really hyped up. And um, I think the opening ceremony is going to be huge. There hasn't been any talk about what's happening. So they've really been trying to keep it under wraps. So it's cool. So what do you know about the opening ceremony tonight? Because we've been pontificating. Uh, we do know. Nicole, that uh, Mr. Bean is lighting the flame. We know that. We've heard that today. No, man. <laughs> no, he is. Hello. Rowan Atkinson as Mr. Bean is going to light the flame. That's crap. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, he's a, he's, a great, he's a great character. So we've heard that uh, Rowan Atkinson is going to be Mr. Bean, who's going to wander into the stadium by mistake and... and uh, apparently light them flame by mistake that's how it's gonna all play out been there done it oh, Johnny. No, you're not missing that, that are man. you I'm, that. No, I'm sure you haven't <laughs> no we we don't know but what have you heard who's going to be there i i haven't in the papers here it says um people are hoping it's david beckham oh boring so, oh, please. but I, I was also going to say that because i mean that's just so that's what people think and and you would think that so I doubt that, but uh, apparently it's going to be huge. Apparently there's going to be animals and all sorts of things. Like they're going to go, they're going to go huge. And what about but, the um, opening ceremony? <laughs> 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 we didn't, we didn't ask you about the Oasis concert. <laughs> they're going to be animals. Um, it's not an African freaking Olympic Games. Exactly. So that's why I'm. That's why I can't wait to see it. But um, 
you, it's just they've really tried to keep it. I mean, they were deleting tweets, they were de they were tweet, um, deleting like um, videos and all sorts of things, and trying to keep everything a secret, which is nice as well, you know, because it keeps the, the surprise. I've heard uh, s stories that this is the greenest Olympic Games ever. Have you heard anything about that? It is. Um, like the IBC and most of the Olympic Stadium has been, you guys must see it, it's just there's flowers and there's all sorts of things. So they're really trying to, um, everything's made out of recyclable material and um, it's quite cool. It's, it's a nice way of, of doing it. And um, I was speaking to Gerald DeCock the other day and I mean he works at the IBC um, all the time, like full time obviously commentating and stuff. So he was also saying, compared to Beijing though, um, most of he says security wise Beijing was much better so I wouldn't have thought that no. so I asked him why and uh, he basically just said at in Beijing whoever was going to the IBC or going to the Olympic Park as they were walking out of the hotel they were searched and and you know all their luggage and stuff was searched and then they got onto the bus and then they and were shot went, <laughs> and then, no and then they and then they went into Olympic Park now here there's people from all over the city going to Olympic Park and getting searched there, going through security checks there. So it's, there's a lot of people at once all the time. So small things like that, um, it's different. But but still, a lot of people are faithful that um, that it's going to go off without a hitch. So. Well, being faithful or hopeful, that is the one thing. But especially in this yeah. day and age, I, I, I have a little sneaking worry in the back of my mind. I Don't really say do. that because no, I'm No, but here. I do. No, I'm worried about you. No, don't, yeah. don't. I'm worried Darren. about what you're going to get up to in these next two weeks. Yeah, you no, and no. Rake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, here's my, so here's my sure shot then for the opening ceremony, I think. And okay. uh, try and delete this. Uh, Monty Python sketch. James Bond sketch. Yeah. Harry Potter that, yeah. sketch. Simon Le Bon, Duran Duran, is performing at the opening ceremony. I know, because I saw Ed Jordan tweet. A tweet to him about make sure you warm up properly so duran duran and i think yeah. they might have something to do with the james bond thing i don't know duran duran uh, obviously muse will be there with that grand uh, crescendo and then yep. um the only thing i wouldn't put my money on is who's going to light the flame you know we we joke but i re maybe it is mr bean <laughs> i really it would be really cool if it is him i wouldn't be I'm surprised he was there was talks i mean there were there were talks about him and um and like i said david beckham and uh i can't remember who else but i mean it's just i don't know it's interesting but one, of no one, tipped him. one of the athletes are one of the athletes are boring because they haven't really had great athletes so it's got to be one of those uh, some legendary character or whatever you remember sydney with the way they started with the guy that staggered or drove out in the tractor onto the field at the Olympia, sydney olympic games and you remember that opening awesome opening ceremony and some guy the guy who uh, cuts the field drove out the, the grass cutter came out and it looked like it was a mistake but it was all part of the whole act yeah and he was uh, so uh, mr bean suddenly staggering onto the field we've been brilliant people will love it immediately use world famous characters no one cares about daily thompson or whatever well whatever anyway nick yeah. next so uh good luck enjoy the opening ceremony and the festivities in the Thank streets you. of london and uh, we'll Thank catch up you, with you Jim. again uh, next week. Do us a Skype from a okay. taxi one of these days. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Yeah. Get into one of those okay. London tech cabs and let's have a chat to the uh, driver if he's allowed to Skype and chat to us at the same time. I don't know. But if he's in the a, back of a He's back not allowed the in the Olympic lane, so that sucks. But, yeah, there uh, you go. But John, they're so upset about it. Yeah. No, we heard. Anyway. All righty. Good luck. Enjoy. And we'll chat okay. you next week. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'll cheers, Nick. 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 Some cool. Love you guys. Bye. 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 There we go. Nicole in London, uh, ahead of tonight's opening ceremony at the Olympic Games. She's going to be uh, around about the Tower of London or there by the castle doing her thing. We the best on three. One, two, three. We the best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.